Hey Taurus, this is your mid-month reading for November, taking you guys on um, through until December. Um, at, for you guys, as with every other sign I've done thus far, I have pulled uh, at least one Romance Angels card to read at the end of the reading. Um, just see if it gives you an added message or it gives you um, a message external to your reading. But um, I was laying the cards face down, but your cards, two of them, flipped over. And so, um, as far as reading them at the end of the reading, I said, no, they're over. I see the word. So we're going to start your reading off with your Romance Angels cards. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others if you're having a hard time. Um, if you're keeping things to yourself, sometimes it's, it's, it's good to share with other people, to bounce things off of other people if it helps you. Uh, and, and just not sitting in, sitting in your thoughts and um, just letting your thoughts consume you, okay? Okay, and then we have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Um, and this is this is very powerful because you know sometimes when we get hurt we tend to shut down some of us I know I'm one of those people um, and it's not that you try to but when you've been hurt and you've been hurt um, very deeply or you've been hurt a lot then this is what tends to happen and um, we end up being very closed off and um, just not allowing that type of energy in so easily again. So maybe it is you know time to talk to someone about this um, and, and just take baby steps towards getting your life back on track. And not saying that your life is off track, but if you guys are wanting a relationship and just kind of like hesitant about it, then it may be uh, beneficial for you guys to actually enlist the help of, you know, your closest family and um, friends here. Okay, guys. So let's get started with your, your reading. Let's see what energy is going on around my Taurus friends. Okay. The Eight of Pentacles. I feel that you guys are really throwing yourselves into work to try and not concentrate so heavily on what it is that you feel like you guys have lost here. Um, I feel it's all about you working on yourselves because there's something that you, you are wanting to accomplish. And I'm thinking that is basically to not feel whatever hurt that um, that is present. It's present here. I can feel it. Okay. That's Virgo energy there. What's crossing my Taurus friends? What's crossing Taurus? Look at that. That tower. That tower. That's hurt. That's anger. Um, this is not basically, you know, allowing yourself to feel, allowing yourself to look at things for the way that they really are. I think that you need to face the fact that um, certain things happened. It was really out of your control and there was nothing that you could do about it. It was bound to happen. It's a thing here, okay, with that Tower energy, Scorpio energy. <clears throat> what is the underlying issue here for Taurus? Judgment. Judgment. This is hearing, hearing the call, guys, and heeding to it. Making a decision about what's best for you. Looking in the mirror and really seeing yourself. And seeing if you like that self. Okay. Again, Scorpio energy. Strong Scorpio for some of you guys. I feel like there's a, there's a heavy karmic situation that you guys are going through right now. Um... But, you know, the judgment and the tower, uh, this is energy that's exterior to you. So you feel this heaviness. You feel um, this, this weight. But I feel like you guys are actually avoiding something at this point. Okay. <clears throat> In the recent past for 
Taurus, you can't do everything yourself. I see that you're trying to here. You're really trying to. You're really trying to handle this all by yourself. Hmm. Recent past. Four of Wands. There was a relationship here. You were happy before. Some of you guys were even married before. Um, I do feel like for a lot of you, you live with this person. You may have had children with this person or a blended family even here. Um, Aries energy. But, you know, it's like once upon a time, yeah, I was happy. I was happy. We were happy. But, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, just receiving the fact that, you know, there were things that were not working. Um, this situation was not stable between the two of you. And maybe on the outside or maybe, um, you know, cosmetically you guys were like, you know, the bomb or you look like the power couple or, but you guys know that there was something that was going on here that was just not right. One of you was doing more work than the other is what I'm getting here. Okay. The Four of Wands is Aries energy. If I didn't say it already, I think I did though. Let's see. Crowning Thoughts for Taurus. The Knight of Swords. I really do think that you guys want to talk to someone about the relationship. How you guys were happy. And I'm also getting that um, there was somebody that walked away from the situation feeling like you guys weren't happy at all and I think that um, some of you want to tell this person that you were some of you feel like that is what caused the instability is the fact that this person felt like you weren't happy um, but I think that hmm the thing is I think too that for some of you you're looked at as being um, angry and aggressive. And I think that you want you want to be able to explain yourself. You want to be able to defend yourself even in this situation with this person. Uh, Aquarius, Gemini energy I feel is here now. But um, there, there's something that is between you two. And something that you feel like you're going to have a hard time like getting through like there's something that has transpired between the two of you during the course of the breakup that makes you feel like you're going to have a hard time getting through to them or reaching them or having an avenue even to um, convey to them what it is that you want them to know okay what's coming in for Taurus the nine of cups here having your wishes fulfilled hanging out with friends and family doing what you feel like is necessary for Taurus okay this is getting your happy back aside from um, this relationship or as far as anybody else is involved this is Piscean energy here how is Taurus viewing this situation Two of Cups. You guys love this person. You love this person. And you feel like even though you guys may not be together, you still feel like this is your person. You feel like that. I think this person is still here for you, but there was something that is between you guys that was not working. I think you did have very, very happy moments, both of you. But there's something that causes relationship to crash and burn is the thing. Cancer there with the Two of Cups. Hmm. What's the influence here for Taurus? The Empress. Now, I definitely get that. Um, you guys are confident 
you're confident in your skill set. You're confident that you can uh, be by yourself and that you can grow by yourself. I think the, the issue here is if you really want that. Because I do get that there's still a lot of love here. And a lot of you guys do want to start over. You do want to make amends. You do want to grow with this person. You want to continue to grow with this person. Continue to build with this person. But I feel like there's a lot of hurt feelings here that's kind of holding someone back in this situation. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like Libra Aries is here. Maybe another Taurus like you guys. But I feel like more Aries um, Libra energy and then uh, Pisces Scorpio energy okay hopes or fears for Taurus look at that ace of cups you're hoping this person still loves you and I do feel like they do okay I definitely feel like they do ace of Pentacles there's a new start here for you guys. You have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. This is a lot of love, a lot of um, uh, deep stuff here between the two of you. Although there is, um, you know, something that was missing, something that was not uh, stable in this relationship. I do feel like there is a lot of potential here with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. This is the beginning of something. It's up to you guys what you actually do with this because it definitely can grow to the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. But, you know, the Aces is just um, basically a gift to you guys, okay? It's up to you what you do with that gift. Do you grow it or do you throw it away? Do you feel like there's nothing there that's worth uh, trying to work on with someone or build with someone? Okay, so um, that is what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.